Welcome back to part two of our series on land slash susceptibility mapping. In the previous episode, we explored the basics of landslides, their triggering factors, and conducted a practical exercise using elevation as our first input parameter. Today, we are moving forward with a data preparation and taking a closer look to another crucial factor for landslide of a slope. Slope plays a significant role in landslide susceptibility since steeper areas are generally more prone to move movement under the influence of gravity. In this episode, we will guide you through how to calculate slope using ArcGIS Pro software, interpret its impact on landslide risk, and incorporate it in our mapping process. By the end of this session, you will understand how to uh, how slope analysis add an essential layer to predict high risk zones. If you are excited to continue in our journey with us, don't forget like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We had also love to hear your thoughts and questions so drop them in the comment section below. Now let's jump right into the next phase of our mapping level. Let's get started. Yesterday, as I, as I have shown you, we are uh, identify our area of interest and our area of interest is this administrative boundary and we need to have digital elevation model. So yesterday we are uh, clip out from the larger data set and we do have uh, a digital elevation model. So let me add data from my uh, working directory. Directly I go to cluster and I do have the digital elevation model of my steady area. So the first step to compute the slope parameter is we need to fill and sync the digital elevation model that we have. So uh, go to analysis. From analysis, here there is tools. And the geoprocessing wizard will, will be open to the right corner and you can write here uh, fill the digital elevation model, but if uh, you want to have a look, the general overview of toolbox, select the toolbox and here we do have ample amount of toolsets and uh, scroll down, yeah, search the spatial analysis tools. This is spatial analysis tool. From spatial analysis tool, we drag to hydrology. From hydrology, there are different tools. Then I am very much interested to use field. Double click here and the wizard is available. Input surface raster is a digital elevation model that we are clipped out from the larger data set. In my case, this digital elevation model. Then take the digital elevation model and output surface raster should be given should uh, provide our uh, name. We can say the, the digital elevation model, or, but we need to set our working directory. Click the folder and it is directly uh, lead to your working directory. In my case, I would like to save my output in input data. So let me give the name of uh, my file, dm underscore field, then save it. What is the next step is hit run and automatically my machine uh, or my computer is computed uh, the corrected digital elevation model of my steady area. This is the field name. So let's compare and contrast the value or the minimum value uh, of the original uh, data set was 947 and the newly the correct digital elevation model is 900, uh, 952. 
and the maximum value is 2897 for both sides. So uh, I would like to eliminate the original one. I have the correct digital deficient model based on this. I try to compute my slope map. So go to the geo processing wizard and get back to the original and collapse uh, this hydrology and uh, my interest is to compute the slope map of my uh, area of interest so from spatial analysis tool i need to select out the tool called surface here is a surface tool set with a surface tool set uh, there is a slope so uh, slope definition is the inclination of a place and slope is always expressed in terms of degree and in terms of percentage and I'm very much interested to use percentage slope class for my landslide susceptibility mapping. And in my case, the input raster is the digital division model that we have corrected by using field method. Then the input raster is digital elevation model that we have corrected. The output uh, raster is the file name that we give for our uh, output, in this case, slope. slope. Then the output measurement is, as I have mentioned earlier, it can be expressed in terms of percent rays and in terms of uh, degree. I'm comfortable with uh, degree. So uh, degree is my preference. Then automatically hit run and it execute the slope of my area of interest. So this is a slope map of my area of interest, but uh, the category is um, much in number and we can uh, reclassify based on our uh, interest in our case for land susceptibility mapping we do have five slope classes uh, from 0 to 5 from 5 to 15 from 15 to 25 25 to 35 and uh, above 35 if the slope of an area is uh, greater than 35 this area is highly vulnerable for landslide because of a gravitational uh, force or because of gravity and other uh, related factors so this class is very fundamental for our uh, input parameter to compute landslide so let's get back to rpgis pro and let me reclassify to reclassify go to your processing from your processing let's get back from slope to that of uh, reclass this reclass toolset is available within this spatial analysis tool and drag down to reclass. From reclass, we uh, try to have a look at the reclassify tool. Double click here, and the wizard is available here. The input raster is the slope that we have computed earlier. So select the slope, and we reclassify. Uh, the valves of a slope. This is the valves of a slope. So uh, we need to determine the number of class we have. In our case, we have five classes from very low to very high. Uh, this Excel uh, sheet indicates that the threshold value of slope, aspect, curvature, and the like. So based on this threshold, I would like to reclassify my value. Then Let's get back again to this uh, RPGS Pro. So hit classify. Another window is available, and the field is uh, the field that we have selected is value of uh, this raster data set of a slope in terms of degree, and the method is manual. There are different methods that are available here like quantile equal interval defined uh, interval manual and other so
So uh, let me select the natural brick and the number of classes that I have for land susceptibility mapping is five. So uh, select five in number. Then uh, the upper limit in this Excel is from zero to five. So five is the, mini the maximum five. And the next number that I have is uh, 550, 25, 35. Then 5, this is 15. Here is 25. Here I do have 35 and greater than 35. Click OK. And the number of classes are available here from uh, 0 to 5 is 1. This one indicates that uh, this is flat area and this slope area is uh, less susceptible for landslide. From 5 to 15 is too low. 15 to 25 is moderate. From 25 to 35 is highly risked area for landslide. From 35 and above is very high susceptible for landslide. So the final product should be put in our working directory by giving uh, our output name. Let's uh, give this slope reclass. Slope reclass. Then save it and run finally i do have five classes of slope this uh, one indicates that the area with a flat area or uh, gentle slope so one is uh, the area with this color is less susceptible for landslide whereas Five indicators that uh, the slope with uh, greater than 35 degree is highly susceptible for landslide. Let's uh, visualize uh, using better color schema to perform that. Right click here and go to symbology. From symbology, we can convert the uh, color and field if you have. First of all, let me uh, change the color ramp of this uh, slope. Color is the preference of uh, individual. For the sake of this practical exercise, I would like to prefer this one. And um, the red one is low susceptible. You can make it reciprocal. So for better visualization, you can select a better color, but uh, I would like to add the symbology uh, in such a fashion, but let me add some fields to uh, a slope. So we'll go to slope class and right click, then open attribute table. From attribute table, we do have uh, attribute fields. Here there is the number of pixels that we have under each uh, category and let me add a field so click here add and uh, field name is class and the data type is Text because I need to this field to type some kind of text, then get back to the upper top corner and save it. Then click the attribute table, and the newly created field is available here. Plus, uh, then one means very low susceptible and two as low susceptible three is moderate moderate four is highly susceptible 
and five is very high very high susceptible for landslide and finally let's close the attribute table and go to again to symbology unique value as uh, a primary symbol is a unique value and field uh, that we have selected is value instead of value uh, let's select class and you can select the color ramp again based on your color preference in my case let me select this so the red one indicates are uh, the very low here there is very high moderate uh, low and high you can rearrange uh, this and for instance if you are interested to make colorize very high uh, deep red you can select very low let's change from red to deep green let me make it green and move to top finally you can rearrange in such a fashion the deep green indicators that uh, very low for landslide susceptibility the light green indicates that the area which have a relatively low slope um, and it is low susceptible for landslide the uh, deep red and the yellow one indicates that uh, the area is highly susceptible for landslide in terms of slope this is all about today's video if you have, if you have any question related to this topic don't hesitate to ask and put down your comment on the comment session thank you very much for having me thank you again